Hi, my name is Matthew Aravalo with Hollywood Mac Guru, and I'm going to show you how to use iMovie on iPhone 4. To do this, you're going to need an iPhone 4. I'm going to turn it on here. Now, the iMovie application is right here on the screen. We're going to go ahead and tap to open that up. This is the project screen. This is where you're able to work with any existing projects you have on there or to create a new project. As you can see, it says Tap Plus to start a new project. That's in the upper right. We're going to go ahead and click that. The first selection you're going to get is the ability to select a theme. So you can use your finger to drag back and forth and look at the different themes that Apple has on here. We're going to go ahead and choose the default modern theme. And now you have the opportunity to insert media into the actual project. This can be done with any previously recorded video or any video that you'd like to take at this time with the camera. I'm going to go ahead and add some video that I've already previously recorded on the iPhone 4. Uh, the one the icon here on the left is to be able to choose that. On the right is to record new video. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that icon here. And here's a list of all the videos that, uh, that I've recorded on the iPhone 4 previously. I'm going to select this one right here. And then it goes ahead and adds it to the timeline. Now you can scrub with your finger back and forth to preview the video and get an idea of what it was you recorded. You can also use the play button in the upper right hand corner to play back the video from any point that you've scrubbed to. Tap on the screen again to stop. If you double tap on that clip or any clip that you've added in the timeline, you get your clip settings. The clip settings allow you to change the title style, the location, and to toggle whether the audio is going to be on or off during this particular clip. Now the title style, you go ahead and select, and allows you to choose whether you're going to be doing an opening, middle, or ending title. I'm going to go ahead and say opening. And you can see here it automatically puts in a title text here. Clicking anywhere in there allows you to type in what you would like for that particular title. It automatically detected that this video was taken outside of the Chinese theater in Hollywood and went ahead and populated that as well. You can turn that off or on. Opening up the clip settings also allows you to choose the location. It's automatically detected if it was able to discover what your location was when you shot the video, but you can go ahead and change that as well by tapping on location and specifying exactly where you would like to say this video was taken. I'm going to go ahead and click on done here. We're going to double tap on the clip one last time, and I wanted to show you how you can toggle audio on and off. This is if you were going to go ahead and add music to it, and you wanted to toggle the audio that was on that clip off so that you only hear the music that's in the background. I'm going to hit Done. Now, one of the other things you can do is if you add additional media into the timeline, you can manipulate the transitions that go in between those, those clips. So I went ahead and added another video, and you can see this icon right here, these two triangles facing each other, that lets me know that there's a transition in between both of those. Double tap on that transition to be able to choose what type of transition you'd like to use, as well as the duration of the, the transition between the two clips. This has been Matthew Aravalo with Hollywood Mac Guru, and that's how you use iMovie on the iPhone 4.